Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a slow Monday, April 24th. Calendar looks super light. We got IFO today. Um, I don't know, a decade ago, IFO used to matter. <clears throat> now IFO doesn't matter, so no one gives a shit. Um, let's look out here, see some of the stuff that we're running here. Short Aussie Kiwi. Uh, we talked about it. I don't know, Thursday, Friday, we wanted to sell this uh, stretch into the 200-day, the high is 31. Now we're back uh, 84. Um, get this thing, uh, you know, now we're just tidying up the average. Uh, you don't want to lose money on this thing now. So, Aussie looks a little bit left here with stocks off a uh, quarter of a percent. And Aussie again also driving to the left still after a big down day on Friday. You see this big down day here after this turn bar. Uh, you can sell high ones in Aussie again. We'd look to sell high ones on Friday. There were no high ones. Uh, if you look, I mean, I guess we did get up to 90, but we were up here um, at 90.20. Uh, Aussie again, Aussie Kiwi uh, both look left hand side. Let's look at this cable. Got a weird feeling about cable this week. Um, we talked about this. Just kind of quietly waiting here. 124 and three quarters. 124.75. We deem this um, as a break trade. So, you know, just standing entries up in that zone. Uh, it's unclear whether it's going to be 75 or 68 or what the exact number is. We're going to make a sort of a game time decision if and when we see it up there. Um, really took out all of the all of the recent longs with the move down to 123.68 on uh, Friday, uh, but at the end of the day we floated right back up to 50. Um, here we are at 30 in no man's land, so nothing to do here yet. But we're quietly um, eyeing this 124.75 level, so might be might be interesting. Crude's getting smoked. Euro Norway still is in rarefied air. Um, if you did sell super high ones on Friday, you're okay. We talked about it even though it was stretched. You really wanted to sell high ones. 11.57.60 uh, is the low on Friday. And although let's let's have a look at that actually. I know that didn't trade. Here we are again. This is the this is the end of the day bar, um, which you know, Euro Norway closed at eleven sixty two. Why eleven fifty seven ninety is printed here? I don't know. Um, so now you see how this affects a lot of different things. Someone who's not watching will go, "Oh gosh, like eleven fifty seven is the low uh, Euro Norway. The actual low is probably eleven sixty one fifty." Um, so tricky. Um, we're not fooling around with Euro Norway at the moment, but we're just pointing it out. Crude uh, on the 76 handle. How you like me now? Gap close will be 75 and three quarters. First time down there should be a buy. Um, but just pointing this out, we're not really playing playing in that space. What else? Dollar yen, BOJ is this Friday. Uh, we have CPI on Tuesday. Are we going to take another visit to one th on the 135 handle? I don't think so. Um, the high Friday was 134.92. Today's high 134.70. That's not right. Friday's high was already 134.50. Today's high is 134.47. Um, let's drill down on that. Looks like there's some standing offers at 50. Not much to do here at 37.38. Will we take a peek above 50 for some Asian guys who are leaning against these offers? Feels like that kind of day. Just a wishy-washy bullshit day. Um, but we do like dollar yen lower. 133.50, I guess, is sort of the the range lows now. So 
let's mark this at 133.50 <coughs> and 135. Um, 15. Um, and in the meantime, it's just going to wash around. Gold. Um, this is a buy somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Um, 1980 broke. We got down to 1970. We traded down to 71 again. Just have a feeling this thing might take a little bit of a trip down to 50. Um, but you can start thinking about picking up some gold uh, on low ones here. Uh, we still have market that feels pretty long and a lot of people are recently long so um, could be some more pain out there in the gold market but the direction of travel is higher for gold over the medium term so trying to trying to pick up cheap ones uh, not a bad idea let's look at euro we haven't really looked at euro in a while nothing really great the chart basically sucks except for the fact that you know, 109.95, or let's call it 110, um, is kind of a little bit of a point now. Let's go to the four hours. We see this high here, uh, 109.99.8. This high here, 109.95. Um, back up through 110. Mildly interesting. We do have IFO today, which again, like this is pretty meaningless. Uh, last few years no one really cares about IFO don't really have any great euro releases even this week German CPI on Friday um, but in general we just like euro higher right uh, but there's really no play here so it's the market feels relatively neutral longs and shorts are pretty balanced no catalyst, um, you know, you just got to keep it in your pants, right? Uh, no, no point whipping it out and getting, getting stuck into the Euro market when it's, when it's in this, the story is this benign. Euro Swiss on higher rates, this should float higher. Uh, are people buying Swiss because the sky is falling in America and the debt crisis and Biden, Trump and mass murders and obesity and I don't know so the million bad things happening in the world I don't understand super well why people are piling into Swiss francs um, against every currency in the world uh, but they are um, you know euro Swiss the bottom of the range dollar Swiss the bottom of the range Swiss yen at all-time highs um, sterling Swiss on its knees But in general, if euro, if rates go higher in euro, euro Swiss has to find a bottom somewhere down here. Um, we are not playing uh, this game, but we are just kind of watching it. Dollar Swiss, same thing. We're just watching it. This is at the lower end of the medium and long term range. Can we trade to 88, uh, double O? Of course we can. Um, but again, nothing to see here, right? Uh, and you see this is a theme. So it just looks like a quiet day. Put the guns down. It's okay to be square um, and be patient, right? Looks like the back end of this week is going to be fun. We got this BOJ coming out. We got CPI in, in, in yen tomorrow. We have Aussie inflation numbers on Wednesday. Uh, so today's a quiet one. Go get some fitness uh, or do whatever you need to do. Get your admin done today. And let's just be patient and see what comes up later on. That's all I got for you. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.